Hi there, I'm Evan and I'm 13 years old and I want to change young lives through survival and wilderness expeditions. In this series you'll be following me as I learn all the skills I need to fulfil my dream. Hi guys, this is Evan from Tunis Survivor and today I'm bringing you another video on attitude. For the last eight months, me, my mum, dad and two sisters have been driving around the whole coast of the UK living on a tenner a day, five pounds food and five pounds fuel. Our means of transport is a 1968 Morris Traveller camper van that me and my dad built. You might be thinking, what is the connection between this and survival? Well, as you might know, I want to be an expedition leader and one thing that's important to learn, if a storm hits, you and five other so people have got to hunker down in a tiny tent till it passes over and you just got to accept it. And that's something I'm learning at the moment, living in a tiny space with my mum, dad and two sisters. Living in a small space is full of challenges. We don't have a heater and so the nights can get really cold. As we're constantly travelling, we don't always have Wi-Fi, which means we can't talk to our friends, watch TV or listen to music. When this happens, Dad makes us all play cards and that's something I really don't enjoy doing. For me, living in such close proximity is like a minefield and every mine is a different trigger for my negative attitude. A big challenge for me is our bed, me and my sisters share a small uh, two-man tent size bed and I'm constantly waking up in the middle of the night with my sister's feet in my face and that's for me I really don't like. So I woke up in the middle of the night by these humongous clodhoppers. It's me. Big challenge. So I love my food and I love cooking and someone asked to say to mum can I have something to eat and she says it's not on budget I go but I'm hungry and then that's a, that's a big trigger for me. So, another trigger for me, probably the biggest one, is my two sisters. I find them really annoying sometimes, and when they wind me up, I don't usually keep a positive attitude. But don't get me wrong, most of the time they're fine and we'll have a good laugh. But even the best relationship between the siblings, when you're all in a tiny space for eight months, will put to the test. But, you know, even though sometimes they're really annoying, to make the challenge work that we're on at the moment, we've got to work together as a team, the same on an expedition. If you don't all work together as a team, the expedition could be put in serious danger. This next part, I wanted to kind of get right on and to be honest. And so I'm going to read it off of my phone. So excuse me uh, for doing that. So I said about some of my triggers, but now I'm going to try and explain what that looks like. I react to most situations in similar ways. It starts off with something small and then it builds up inside my head by me turning it into a negative thing. Now I start getting crabby, grumpy and I stop seeing clearly. Next I start blaming everyone else for my actions, telling them that I'm right and they're wrong and by this part I'm too far gone to come back and rational thinking has gone out the window. Now I'm heading towards having a massive meltdown. I'm really frustrated, pulling my hair, hitting myself and I'm getting really upset. I start telling people they're not listening to me and they don't know what I mean in a kind of angry way. I make a lot of excuses for why I'm reacting in this way. This goes on for a while, but Dan manages to move me back to sense. But it's too late for me to just say, I'm sorry, the way I react to situations is wrong. The rest of my family are all grumpy and annoyed and ready to just throw the towel in on the challenge and go home. That's not always how I react. And since I've started trying to change my attitude, I've not reacted to those situations like that, but I'm still struggling. One thing is, you can't eliminate the triggers that annoy you. You've got to learn to recognise when you feel a negative mindset creeping in and stop yourself from reacting negatively. You might not have the same triggers as me, but do you react in similar ways? Frustration, agitation, hitting yourself, getting upset. Do you stop seeing things clearly and start blaming everyone else for your actions but, for you, but yourself? This is how I react, but I realise this is unacceptable and so I'm trying to put an end to it, to my negative attitude. It's not easy, but if you want something in life, you've got to put the effort in to get it. So what can I say about Evan? Um, 
you know, Evan's a great, a, a great lad. Um, you know, he's he's had his struggles ever since he was a kid, really. Ever since he was a toddler, you know, he's he's got had his frustrations. Um, yeah, not always dealt with it in the right way, and I've not always dealt with it in the right way. Um, but you know, we've kind of tried to manage it and and kind of you know do things to try and help him. But I guess you know, as he's getting older, kind of you know becoming a teenager, that you know he's you know he's changing. You know, those kind of frustrations seem to be not so easy to manage, and I think just coming into uh, into Mo to do this challenge for for kind of eight months was 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 a real test really, and and it got to a point where yeah it was yeah it, it it was too difficult, and yeah we almost went home, but but I guess you know we talked about it as we usually did and and do, and and then came up with you know Evan saw the need to to uh, address it you know he saw that it was gonna hinder him in his future um, and I think you know I think using his junior survivor and especially when you know talking to to Craig Matteson and you know being inspired by him to you know to, to continue that there is you know that, that if he really works hard that he can become an expedition leader that that he's 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 decided to do something about it and I've seen a massive change you know just in the last couple of months uh, you know in Evan's attitude that he he seems to be you know have a real understanding that it's his choice yeah that he has a choice whether whether yeah whether he loses it or not and and yeah you know me and Jem have just seen a massive change in, in his attitude and yeah just his 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 desire to, to to make this this junior survivor work and yeah we're massively proud of him. So I hope me sharing my story's been helpful to you and the one thing guys that you need to remember is attitude is a choice. How do you react? Positively or negatively because we are in control of our own behaviour. And so I'll be bringing some new videos soon. Uh, some more genius survive videos uh do a bit of survival next time but for now remember what doesn't kill you makes you stronger bye